Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Katrina and today I am going to be telling you all about this amazing holographic vinyl from Tech Rap Craft. If you have not heard of Tech Rap, then <laughs> you're in the right place. These colors are vibrant. You can use this vinyl on pretty much any project. Mugs, I'm going to be using them on some bottles today and I cannot wait to open them up. I was going to get one of their um, bundle deals that they had for like around $150, but some of the colors they did not have. So I just ended up purchasing these seven individual 10 foot rolls and I got them all for $105 with free shipping. An amazing deal. So you can't beat that because this is great quality holographic vinyl. So I'm going to take this dollar water bottle that I got from Walmart and transform it. And we're going to upscale it and sell it so that way we can make some money, honey. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Now let's get to crafting. So just to let you know the colors that I purchased in case if you like any of these colors yourself. This one is called Hot Pink. It doesn't look hot pink, but it's called Hot Pink. This one is the Rose Gold. Have to have Rose Gold in your collection. Now this one has that rainbow effect and it looks black, but it's called Dark Gray. Really love this color. Now this one looks hot pink, but it's called Fierce Red. In the video, you might keep hearing me say Fire Red, but it's called Fierce Red. This one is the Peacock Blue really love this color um it's similar to the one on the last my last one but this one is the peacock blue now this is my favorite have to have this color this is the opal white honey this color is the bomb and lastly this one is the emerald green color they had some other colors that i really wanted like i believe it was called sunset violet purple and that one was out of stock they have like a coral orange they have so many different colors to choose from so these are the first ones that i got to sample to start out and these are all 10 foot rolls and they also gave me a sample packet of some of their glitter colors and um just some of their plain colors so I will show those as well. So I'm about to open these up because I'm excited. I can't wait to use them. But I wanted to show you these are some of the different color um, of the bottles. I already had them spray painted because I wanted them ready to go. I just use regular spray paint that I got from Home Depot. Give me a variety of colors. I'm probably going to try some more different colors, but these are just to start. So I'm going to try to match them up, which ones look best on which. Some of them I am going to bling out. Some of them I'm going to be um, putting glitter to, you know, just to start off my little water bottle collection. But I noticed, I was wondering, uh, what was this in the package? They gave me like some free little samples um, as well. So I guess of their other colors. And these look really nice. So this is a nice sky blue. Of course, a white one. Um, a tan. The tan would look nice on the black, like a man, or on a mug or something. But the blue, like the glitter patterns, these look really nice. The red would look really, really nice on black. So I'm going to get ready to see. I don't know which one I'm going to put on what, um, which one would look best. But this this opal white one or this um, this white opal. Listen here, I noticed it look fire on the black, even the peacock one. And I'm thinking I'll put the dark gray one. I don't know, I gotta figure it out. I gotta see which one's gonna look best on what. You know, uh, maybe that'll look nice on the, on the fuchsia one, the pink one. So let's get into this. I'm opening each of the colors up, removing that red and white tab that says this side up. That way you'll know which way to place it on your cutting mat. No need to mirror your image because you'll just transfer your image as is using your transfer tape. There's a clear plastic film on it that protects the holographic vinyl or coloring so that way you'll need to pull it back before you can cut and weed. This is permanent adhesive vinyl so you can use this on pretty much any of your crafts or projects. I can't wait to get into these colors because I'm excited. This is my first time using holographic vinyl. So I literally had to search and search because it wasn't on a website. 
and a lot of people in their videos they weren't saying what cut settings they were using so I had to search um, for cut settings and then I still couldn't find it under tech wrap I had to um, actually look for holo um, holographic vinyl cut settings so it cut through a little bit on the back um, came through a little bit like right here you can see that so I'll just take it down these cut settings I did um, the blade at 2 force at 15 speed at 5 so I'm gonna take the force next down to a 14 and hopefully that'll be perfect but I want to show you what it did it cut through the vinyl and it shouldn't cut through see how that's right there I definitely didn't want it to cut through but it still made it thank God this one is gonna be for my mother Anna and um you know I couldn't find my squeegee or my um now I did I could have done this a little longer but it's okay. I'm going to hold it this way to me before I put that down in place. I want to make sure it's nice and straight. Yeah, I could have did this a little bit longer, but I didn't want it going on her mouth. So that's, that's pretty okay. I'm just, you know, this is my first time actually doing round you see like the a right here i want to make sure that is okay want no air bubble okay and now and everything will get sealed in <laughs> i'm using like an old um movie i think this is like a concession stand like when i used to live in new york <laughs> you can use anything flat basically make sure it just gets on that surface good pull that up and I'll reuse that that looks nice matches that that looks nice you know, the red makes it a little hard to see. I'll probably bling this out in the top. The holographic makes it a little, you know, depending upon the angle of the light, hard to see. But that's the first one. So we're going to keep moving and do some other ones. Okay, so I didn't show it the first time. I'm going to show it now. So you see this little tab? this little tab here it says remove this so you have to pull this up before you cut pull that back just like that and then cut so now I'm going to take this to my cameo but I just wanted to show you all that this is the fire red and I'm going to put this one on the white ah that's going to be so nice all right so let's see I love this color the one thing about it you know you shouldn't have any you know it, it's thick so it's not like vinyl where it'll you know tear and mess up um, it's really it's much thicker but I don't want that carrier sheet ripping you see so just got to be extra careful with that part and hold it down so it can weed up okay so until I get my settings perfectly you know I'll just keep taking it down until it's perfect because you don't want any tears in the carrier sheet everybody make it seem so perfect but ain't nobody telling they cut settings <laughs> okay so that's weeded like that but if you look at the back you know it's torn through so i'm going to do the same thing and i'm going to apply this one so i always start from the middle and then just press to make sure everything is down 
I was having a little bit of trouble getting Ashley's name to transfer. This card was just not giving me a good amount of pressure. So I don't know what it was, but I'm just going to speed past this part because who wants to watch someone just transfer vinyl? I know it's boring and I did it a few times in the video already. So I'm pretty sure you're a pro at it by now. So I'm doing it this way because I got to see and then I'll turn it around to you all. So I'm gonna have to go back over that and fix that. I somehow just scraped that. If I had to put that over, that would have been perfect. But I love the color for this one. That is really nice. That popped. Okay, so we get in here. This time it did not cut through the back as much, just one small piece. So that was taken down to a force of 13. So let's weed this and put this one on the next bottle now this is the um i think it's the white opal it's called or opal white white opal it's like a bluish and purplish it's this one is so beautiful and my sister loves um purple my sister loves blue she wanted her bottle purple so trying to make you know something that'll go with the color of her bottle I didn't want to just stick on the white um, vinyl, but I don't want it to clash. I'm hoping that this color pops against the purple bottle um, because it's real similar, but the holographic effect should um, make it pop. So we'll see. So this is the bottle. Um, you know, I wanted to. I want the name to pop, but you see how. Only one way to find out, right? You gotta put it on the C. You gotta put it on the C, Trina. That didn't work. And I still have the tape on here because I'm gonna spray it and seal it. Um, I didn't say I took these off, forgetting that I still will go. Um, I still need to do more work to the bottle, so the tape is still on this one, the top and the bottom. But I like it. I like that. I mean, it's real purple, but I like it. I think I'm gonna go with a lighter shade of purple. So I think that's what I need to do. I definitely need to go with a lighter shade of purple and that would look way better. But that's that bottle. And I forgot to take off the, <laughs> the clear backing because I'm looking at it. But let's see if it cut through. It should have still cut. Um, I forgot to take off that clear fall. And it did, but it's still on there. So now... I got a, I think the plot, yep, I can see the plastic is still on there. This thing is like blinding me to holograph, holographics is like crazy effect. Okay, so we're going to pull this up and see if we can get that um, plastic off. That 
read it like really easy. This one feels, it's like really sticky. <laughs> um, that plastic is still on there. See? Okay, yeah. So you definitely can't forget to take that plastic off. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this up now. Praying I got everything off. And I switched cards. This seems like a thicker card. So we're gonna see how that works out. Almost the same, but we shall see. Mesh in more firmly. The even though the vinyl is permanent, as you can see that, you know, came up, I don't want anything coming up from my customers, so I will seal all I will seal all of them. That's a little crooked. And that's because I'm doing them, trying to do them upside down to show you. But I love that. That's a nice one. So this was a sample one. I'm definitely going to go back and order some more because they gave that to me as a sample. This would be a nice bottle to bling out. So I, I, I probably will do, you know, like a few stones on here. Because I'll, you know, give people the option if they want it just like this or they can bling out the top and the bottom as well. Okay, pull that back. And I'm gonna put my name on here. This is the rose gold one. Um, I had let the paint drip on the, well, the spray, the, on this one, the, the spray paint, I can't even talk. On this one, the spray paint dripped a little bit. It was a little bit too much. So I'm just gonna use those lines to bling it. So now my name would need to come, no need to write, about right here because I'm definitely going to bling this bottle out with um, some rhinestones okay so here is the last bottle that I did I went and just put some glitter on the top use Mod Podge I am gonna flatten that in and I am going to seal it with epoxy but for right now I'm gonna leave it just like that I forgot the name of the place where I got them from. I did get them online. Um, I am going to do a video, you know, with all my glitters that I have because I got them at a really great price. One pound each, all these, all these different colors. Um, so, yeah, definitely will share that in another video. And, again, they were, like, sold out of a lot of colors, too. I'm like, everyone is doing this. <laughs> Everyone is buying glitter. Everyone is buying these um, these things, holographic. So it's just really because um, everyone right now is at the point where they're working from home and trying to you know, you know, make a few extra dollars. So you got to get what you can get when you can get it. So please pick up, pick up. Again, my glitter might not look perfect because this one is for me and I actually was rushing and watching YouTube with my son. He's downstairs watching some of his favorite YouTubers. So I was while waiting for this to dry a little bit. Um, okay, so that's the back. I'm looking for the line. So now I'm going to turn it to this side. Okay, that's going to have to work. I definitely didn't mean to touch that glitter. Uh, I mean, it's. I hope y'all cannot hear my son in the shower. I have his bathroom door closed and mine, and he is in the bathroom, of course, being a boy, singing and being silly. Okay. Pull that off. That rose gold is popping. That rose gold looks so nice. 
Um, I don't know how I feel about the glitter. So definitely, and then I don't like the silver. So I might um, definitely put glitter on the top and the bottom. Because um, of course it has to match. But I love the rose gold on the black. So I'll either have to bling the bling this out with some rhinestones or some glitter. So I might just put glitter on the top and the bottom and seal the whole thing with epoxy. But um, yeah, so that's that. So these are the finished bottles so far that I made. I did want to come back and show you all how I finished them out. They are all sealed. This is the red with the dark gray holographic and I added like stars. Now this color doesn't really pop on the red, but um, I can always change, you know, the color for the next client. But that one is for my mother. This one is for my sister. You know, she wanted some bling on hers too. So I did hers all the way around. I love this color combination. So I definitely do have to go back and add, um, go back. So I definitely do have to go back and purchase the the silver one because that one was just a sample mine i had to fix it up because i didn't really like the way the glitter was looking so <laughs> it looks a little sloppy but you know the next time when i do it for someone for real i'll definitely make it a little bit more better make it really look like drips that was the look i was going for like drips coming down the bottle but my mother and my sister them said they loved it and it see it's like overlapping just a little bit on the a but you know that's my bottle my name is Katrina so that's fine now I love this color this color is actually growing on me I thought this purple was gonna be too dark but I think it looks really good there is a lighter like a pastel um, purple that I will probably get and try as well but I do love that one this is the fire red I love it now I kind of messed up this bottle if you look really close you can see how um, I don't know what I did. I thought the spray paint was dry and it really wasn't and then I had to go back and Take the name off because there was like some I think I scratched the paint a little bit I tried re um, Spray painting over it and that did not work and then I had to take the whole thing off Then I had to sand it down a little bit, but this is a free bottle going to my cousin <laughs> So we gonna make this work. So this is the reason why I actually added the stars to the bottles that doesn't have the bling to give it a little bit more pizzazz and because I originally messed up the white but the pink and the gold bottles are just some extra colors that I have um, that I'm gonna offer but I am gonna get like a, a like a tan cream bottle and I'm gonna get like a different shade of purple and maybe a lighter pink because I don't know if I'm really feeling that dark fuchsia so I think a lighter pink would um, look better because I do have some other Colors of the tech craft that I didn't use and I know it would look better on the lighter shades of the bottles because the darker shades You want your um, the holographic, you know names or cutouts to really pop and show so you need lighter shades But this is how the bottles turned out. Let me know if you like them. I really love this rose gold So I have a lot of favorites. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm, I'm sold for the tech craft. I love it but um, they're shipping. Oh, that's a whole nother story. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you all next time. And this little turntable, of course, I got that from Amazon. I'll have that link down below. And I will see you all in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.